I think in my previous video, I said that the it was going to be the last one where I find the area under the normal curve, but I lied. Not on purpose. I just uh, remembered that there's one more type of notation that I would like to show you. Um, this notation right here is probability. So let me go ahead and highlight it here. And finding the area under the curve is the same as finding the probability that z is greater than or less than something. So in this case, I want to know and find what is the probability that z is less than negative 1.5 or z is greater than 2.0. So I'm actually showing you two things here. A, a new notation, probability notation, for finding the area under, under a normal curve. And I'm also showing you um, how to find the area if we've got an or situation. So let me go ahead and draw these. We know that 0 is the z-score in the middle of my distribution. So negative 1.5 is right about here, and positive 2 is right about here. So let me go ahead and draw a couple of vertical lines, one right there and one right there. And I'm going to shade this graph appropriately. Well, I want to know what's the probability that z is less than negative 1.5. Well, less than would be this direction. And I also want to know what is the probability that z is greater than 2. Well, that would be this direction. So I actually have, let me go ahead and put my negative 1.5 here and my 2 here. What I actually have are two shaded regions. So I have to find the area of both of these shaded regions. I'm going to find the area of this region first. And then I'm going to find the area of this shaded region next. And the word or in probability tells us to add. So I'm going to go ahead and find the area of both of these shaded regions and add them together. I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator. Pull it back up here. Right about there is good. And I want to go normal CDF. So let's go stat. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Second VARS. And go to number two normal CDF, and to find the area here on the left-hand side, I need my two boundaries, and I'm going to use negative 99 and negative 1.5. So let's go negative 99, comma, which is above the 7, and negative 1.5. Close my parentheses, and when I hit enter, this gives me the area to the left of negative 1.5, the shaded region on the left hand side. Now if you don't know why I used negative 99 as my left hand boundary, watch some of my previous videos and it'll tell you why. So now let me go back to my calculator and find the area on the right hand side here. Let's go second VARS number two to get to normal CDF and my left hand boundary is two. My right hand boundary I'm going to use is positive 99. So two comma 99, commas above the 7, close my parentheses, hit enter, and here is the area on the right hand side of my picture here. So right there is that area. All right, now I'm just going to add them together. Now I like to go four decimal places, so I'm going to go ahead and have this one, the probability, well, I'm just going to go ahead and add them together. Let's see here. The probability of this one is 0 0.0668. And the probability for the right-hand side is 0 0.022. I'll uh, round off, round up to 8, since it's point so, or since there's a 5 there. Add these two together. Let's see. 8 plus 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 8, that's 9. This is an 8. And then this is 0. So the probability, if I come up here, the probability that z is less than negative 1.5 or greater than 2.0 is 0 0.0896. And you could also write that as a percent if you wanted, which would be 8.96%. So there's just another example of finding the area under the normal curve with a different type of notation, probability notation.